Hey, and welcome back. This is video number two, brainstorming bonus ideas for your affiliates. Now, a quick note here that the bonuses that you create should be saved for certain types of affiliates. Now, let's talk about the levels real quick. You want to create different types of bonuses for different types of levels. So level number one are the top super affiliates. Level number two are the super affiliates, and they tend to generate commissions, possibly super affiliates that you didn't approach initially. And level number three, usually other affiliates that generate zero to a few sales. So let's start brainstorming. Step number one is you want to list out the top five biggest selling points of your existing product. So I want you to sit down and think, pause this video and think about the top five reasons why somebody would want to buy your products, whether that's software features, whether that's a video course, pick out, you know, your different videos, different strategies and so forth. So why would somebody want to buy your product? Step number two, pick these top five coolest methods, benefits, strategies, ninja tricks that people could use either to save money, save time, boost ABC results, and solve ABC fear. So in other words, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to pick the five coolest methods here. And these basically need to figure out how to ease a buyer's mind in terms of the following. So these are just some ideas and these are types of ideas that really can convert well and things that people are, that they tend to look for. And step number three is the reshape methods. Basically, this is how it works. This is a really good method to create supplemental training or other types of media in your product but is also great when you want to figure out what kind of valuable bonuses to give to your top super affiliates to use as well for your other affiliates so this strategy is this we're going to take the best existing content or strategy and take one small tiny thing and elaborate on it give as much content without giving too much. And don't hard sell in the bonus. Say something like, at the end, there's so much I can provide you if you like to learn more than go here and point them directly to your product. So it's sort of like a pre-selling mechanism. But the reshape method basically comes in whatever your media type is. So if your media type is a report, then you want to do something opposite of a report and reshape the same content into a video, webinar, interview, software, or a calculator. Calculators are really cool if you can pick and choose something that is of value. And it's actually not hard to create. If you go to freelancer.com, you can create a calculator probably for anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks and just create something that might relate to whatever your product is. If your product is a software, however, you don't want to create a software. You want to reshape it and maybe add some videos, webinars, and reports as bonuses. If your product is a webinar, you might want to do other videos, reports, and software. And that's the whole idea of the reshape method. So that's step number three is to figure out what other types of areas you can go into and step number four let's talk about some additional brainstorming what additional things would your customers and prospects pay for and depending on the price point you can do things like coaching skype calls partial done for you services done for you services tend to take time and keep in mind that if you do coaching and you do Skype calls, you can turn that into another bonus. So basically taking content and reshaping them into other different formats and you can add them as bonuses, affiliate bonuses, and so forth. So I'm trying to get you to understand that you really don't have to spend a lot of time. In fact, you have everything what you need 
is simply reshape the content form. Other ideas, what could be a good one-time offer? Take a piece of what could be a good time offer and expand on it. But remember, don't give your product away. Just elaborate on that one piece. So these are some brainstorming methods that you can use to create some ideas quickly and easily. And in the next video, I'm going to move to bonus reports. I'm going to show you how to go about creating these reports, exactly what you should put in these reports, and different strategies that you can use.